All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we're in Kobe, specifically in Sonomia, near Sonomia Station and in the Sonomia area. And then we're headed over to the uh, city hall over here and they have a observatory deck where you can see um, a good view of Kobe. So we're on the way there. I'm not sure where it is. I'm gonna go check out my phone and um, locate where the area is, but it's Saturday afternoon and there's a lot of people out and there's a state of emergency that's been extended to March but um, yeah, I've been wanting to go to this observatory deck for a while but last time I was here it was raining so I couldn't go Alright, so I think we're uh, Old Harley I think we're just a couple blocks away but there's also a park nearby so I wanted to check out that park as well I don't know if you can see it through my through the phone I mean, I don't know if you can see through the glare. All right, whoop, there it is, City Hall. I think that's the building. Yeah, Kobe is always, um, what would you call it? It's always uh, missed by a lot of tourists that come to Japan. Kobe is really big and there's so many things that Kobe has to offer for tourists, but many people just go straight to Tokyo and Osaka. Yeah, I was just noticing today that Kobe is so big. But it's kind of out of the way, I guess, if you're coming from Tokyo and you're going to Osaka. But um, if you're traveling to if you're traveling to Japan, I think um, you shouldn't miss Kobe. Oh, green light. So here it is. So I guess on top of the building, there's an observatory deck that's supposed to be nice. And then there's a park right down the street from here. What is this? Tsunomiya parking. Nah. So this plaque says Kobe, the birthplace of marathon in Japan. So is it the original marathon or just the first marathon in Japan? There's actually a lot of marathons that happen in Japan. It's really nice here, nice and peaceful. Check out this Toyota Supra. All right. So uh, here's the building. Uh, this is a park right there. I was expecting more greenery, but I guess it's just like a normal park with uh, cement. <laughs> so there's some uh, two old couples, but this is the second time it happened where um, two couples where they just fell. I guess like, I guess th they tripped over some of these rocks, gravel here. They, they got to be at least 80, 80 years old, but they're just looking for the toilet. But this is the second time where I had to help two elderly people off the off the ground. And um, yeah, I mean, Japan is the, the place where they have so many elderly people. And um, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um, yeah, so they just fell over here and then I, I picked both of them up and um, it's, it's Japan is one of those places where they have so many elderly people But I don't know if that's a coincidence, but yeah, me and my girlfriend feel really bad sometimes Sometimes we think that's gonna be us <laughs> <laughs> But will somebody help us? We don't know It's so sad Which way? Alright, so um, this place seems really old, but I just feel kind of shocked after uh, after the uh, incident outside. It just kind of freaks me out. I think it'd be best if we came here during the during the the right right when it closes. It closes at five o'clock. There's some kind of restaurant on the first floor. It's pretty cool. I'm still kind of shocked from that those those elderly couple falling down. Me and my girlfriend were pretty um pretty shocked. Here we go, 24th floor. Yeah, it's, uh, last time too, I felt really shocked after helping those two um, elderly couple up. I don't know. You don't you don't see that every day, I guess. Oh, that was fast. Is this 24? What is this? Okay, so quiet. They got this ball. Alright. This place. 
place it smells so old probably built in the 80s okay what is this oh it's free oh look they have mountains side this way yeah me and my girlfriend were just talking about in the elevator how sad we feel one day that's gonna be us it's falling down and nobody's gonna help us whoa it's nice it's the mountainside we were just right there and then we're gonna go to the harbor after we're finished So that um that shopping street goes along all the way down here. And we've been up in this mountain before. As you can see. It's nice. Let's go on the other side. I guess you don't get a full 360 view. They even have like a little map. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty dark. Yeah, that's Mount Roko. I want to go to Ikuta Shrine today. And then we're going to go down to to the um to the harbor Some bathrooms all right so this is the other side they got a harbor here that's the park down below I don't think they have like an ice rink it's nice this is it this is Kobe this is the port of Kobe I never know how close we are, but um, see that's that's the port over there. So we're gonna walk over there, and it's just surrounded by mountains. Yeah, see that's that's the port, and we're gonna go over there after later today. Hey, they have some Korean stuff. Daegu, Korea. Yeah, this place is really pretty um, at nighttime. They got a whole map of everything. They got a map here. So we're at here at this building. And then Chinatown. We were just here earlier. This is got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, Kobe has a lot of interesting things here. And this is just in the mountains. They have a bunch of stuff. Just oftentimes, this must be a nice job. Just looking out here every day these apartments must be nice to live in too probably really expensive This is the other side. You don't get a full 360 view, but you can kind of kind of see it. This is probably one of the biggest ports um, in the area. The next biggest one is probably Yokohama. If 
lot of stuff coming through here. Nice. What is this? Oh. So during the winter time, they'll have like this crazy Christmas light festival, but they canceled it this year because of the pandemic. But they have it every year and it's really nice. You can probably check out on one of my old videos. I'll probably put it in the playlist. Hey, what is this bell? Oh, for the room here, like um, you put the money inside. Uh huh. Then they will connect to the money, then just have the room here. I just like them. Um, uh huh. So my girlfriend was telling me that all these movie posters are here because they've made, they shot this movie, these movies or series in Kobe. And this is like downtown Kobe. This is Chinatown. I mean, I don't know. I don't know most of these movies because I don't watch Japanese movies, but I know I just finished this. I know there's a glare, but I just finished. This is Alice in Borderland. It's on Netflix. I don't know if you watch this but it's really good I recommend it it's um, really interesting but in the shot where they're stuck in the tunnel this was sh actually shot in Kobe oh, which is pretty crazy it's crazy because this um they're gonna start a second season but it was really popular I know a lot of my friends liked it too but all these movies are were shot in Kobe really interesting oh and then there's some stuff about Kobe as well about things to do I think that's it all right so I thought that um yeah I thought it was gonna be a short video but um, yeah, the observatory deck was really nice. Would I suggest someone to look at it if they came? I mean, if they're close by, but I feel like most people that are traveling to Kobe are not gonna have enough time to go there. So I think they had a better view at the Kobe port tower. Um, I've also made a video there too. It'll probably be in the Kobe playlist. Um, we're headed over to the uh, Ikuta, Ikuta Shrine right now, so I hope you look out for that video too. I'm not sure when to stop this video actually because I don't know there might be a lot of good things to see. I might just I might just keep recording. Look at these old meters. It's crazy. The meters are faced inwards. Like you would think the meters would face this way, but the meters are faced that way. Got an M5 here. This is like a, I don't even know what this is. This is like a downtown Kobe. But the thing is, um, Kobe had a lot of people coming in, a lot of different types of um, cultures coming in. So a lot of these buildings are not, they're like, you know, Portuguese inspired or French or the Dutch because there's, uh, because they had this crazy trading port here. So. You see all these buildings, they all look different. Since it is a Saturday, it doesn't seem like a lot of businesses are opening. And plus, um, it's a uh, state of emergency. So I'm not sure what it looks like during the weekday. Oh, what that is, it's an AMG. Okay, I've never been this way. But wow, yeah, this, ho this whole area feels just a little old maybe the embassy's here as well this there seems to be like a uh, oh remote remote is here there seems to be a, a spanish italian flag ah, and then there's the entrance to the shopping center Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is probably gonna be just a, this. This was probably going to be a short video, anyways. 
but um, please look out for the future videos there's a lot more things that I want to check out today so please look out for those videos thank you for watching and goodbye